that this is a, a version of what you watching that we do every once in a while, a blatant radio ripoff of another show here in our <laughs> cluster of radio stations, our sister station. But uh, yeah, this is a little bit different because we're not looking for new, new shows, like current shows. You know, something that's already kind of wrapped up. Uh, we'll go over to you first, Ravy. What do you got? Well, I can't stress enough over on Disney Plus how great Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and Star Wars Rebels both are. Just expands on the Star Wars universe. I like these shows more than the majority of the movies. They're They're sh- really these good. shows are so good. Now, season seven, yes, they are putting some new episodes in for it's Clone Wars. It's all animated, Wars. though, right? Mm-hmm. It's all animated. See, I yeah. can't get into that. I agree. It's so much better. Yeah, not that I'm not into any animated show. Like, I love mm. South Park, which is another good one to binge. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, like, yeah, the the animated stuff I've, I have a hard time getting into. You're missing out. Well, because I like all the Star Wars stuff. It's just uh-huh. it leans kids though. It does. The Clone Wars definitely early on does. Yeah. But once you yeah. push through to season like three, <laughs> it gets very Power adult. Yeah. yeah. It um. It's a lot of hot naked. Yeah. Hot <laughs> nudes over on Netflix. One of my guiltiest guilty pleasures of all time. Once upon a time, it aired on ABC. Oh, that's it right. It is a really? comic cheesy. It's like that fairy tale show. But right? I yeah. yes, and I think that's. <laughs> Kind of, you know, it's not dark. Yeah. It's not, it's just kind of interesting and fun. And Hulu, Bob's Burgers is closing in on 200 episodes. Damn. I love really? Bob's Burgers. Another wow. animated show. I think it's great. How about the Golden Girls on Hulu? Oh. <laughs> it's worth it. watching the Golden Girls. Think about this. It's the Golden Girls. And they're doing stuff you could never get oh. away with today. Totally. Never. Um, not even close. Well, it's like those old sitcoms. Uh-huh. It's so all of them. not yeah. PC. I mean, all of them. Yeah. 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 And also on Hulu, mm-hmm. 72 episodes, but it started my unconditional love affair with Kristen Bell, Veronica Mars. All right. Uh, Greg Gorey. Let's see if you know me really well, Woody. What do you think I'm going to say? Not a sitcom, but a, a, a drama. Ooh, a drama? That you and I worship. Yeah, that's um, uh, Rescue Me. Yup. You got it. Dennis Leary. It, it aired from 04 to 2011. It has 93 episodes. And those so are all on Hulu now, right? Almost, they're on Hulu. Yeah, because all the FX Or you can FX buy them shows. on Amazon Prime. Because all the FX yeah. shows are now on Hulu. Right. Right. And this was in the day, like, when it started in 04 on FX, and they used a few swear words. So back then, you were like, whoa! whoa. Yeah. Uh, S on TV? This is on TV. <laughs> yeah, and yeah and that was a good said, show. It's such a great show. It got slow in parts. Like certain seasons the, got a little slow, but right. The only part I didn't like really is good. when Dennis Leary was kind of hallucinating Jesus. Yeah. That stuff was weird. Yeah. But it's about the NY, uh, NYFD. Uh, NYFD. And after, oh my god, such 9/11. a great show. And it's edgy. Dennis Leary. Oh my god, Dennis Ruley. It's such a great show. <laughs> right. So yeah, you can find that on Hulu, or you can uh, buy it. I think buy the season on Amazon. Buck right. ninety nine. Uh, what about you, Menace? Uh, of course. Real quick, shout out to Drunk History. They have 70 episodes available. They're really good. So good. And I that's love an them. easy binge. They did announce a new season, season seven, but who knows when that's ever going to get done. So catch up right now on the first six seasons. And then Murder Mystery is so hot right now. Go back and watch Unsolved Mysteries. 580 <laughs> episodes <laughs> of <laughs> a ton of murder. <laughs> they what? also have some aliens. And Is that ghosts. available? Nice. Yeah. Oh, you can, cool. uh, and that won't mess places. with your brain if you're in quarantine? No. Aliens, murder, murder, <laughs> Bigfoot, <laughs> all, all that kind of stuff. You're coming out of it in conspiracy theory. Dude, it rules. And then also, one of my favorite shows, In Living Color, 127 oh, yeah. episodes. You can get it on Amazon. Speaking of things that you can't do on television yeah. anymore. In Living That's Color, full man. full of it. So yeah. funny. Pl- like, very politically incorrect Saturday Night yeah. Live. Mm-hmm. Good Check stuff. It out. All right. Uh, fake news, Doc Cameron. Uh, believe it or not, the two I have to suggest are sports related, which is kind of a character uh, I don't believe change it. of mind. Number one, Friday Night Lights. Oh, babe. It was an NBC show back <laughs> in 2006. It's it so good. It rules hard. Have you guys ever seen it? I uh, watched it when it aired. I what's, so, what's so funny about the that? The way that the you said it rules it hard. Was, hard. I was like, okay. It's very, very uh, odd phrasing. It, it is mm-hmm. a glorious show. I never it watched is, it. Oh my it, is I it more of a, like a soap it. opera? What is it? I know it's hugely no, popular. No, it's, it's not soap opera. It's kind of teen it's drama. It's a drama. Though, right? It's yeah, a drama. It's not even teen drama. It's not even lean teen. High school football. Yeah, it's about high school football in Texas. Kyle Chandler, Connie Britton. That's it. Okay, I've seen it. I always thought it always impressed me as like a relationship problems, like with the coach and his wife. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes yeah. it's relationship problems with him in the city, and the, the school, whatever. It is an awesome show. All right, so Friday Night Lights. Lights. And then Eastbound and Down, which was an HBO oh, show. Oh, I love that in guy. In 2009 <laughs> with Danny McBride. Yes. It is 
so freaking funny. Danny McBride is so underrated. Oh my god, so damn funny. It's so good. It's about a like a baseball player's fall from grace. Yeah, he was like a former mm-hmm. pitcher. Yeah, right? he rules. It's hilarious. Yeah. So funny. He's that's on HBO. I mean, yeah, I haven't heard anybody bring that up in it's been a while, time, yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, Did, C-Bass. Uh Talk about shows that do things that you're not supposed to be able to do. Mm-hmm. Like you're talking about the Golden Girls, right? And you know, South Park is probably the only show that still does it. Besides, it's always Sony in Philadelphia. They've got oh, yeah. 14 mm-hmm. seasons. There's so many of those. They that, give no Fs. That they so do funny. shows straight up in blackface. But because of how they <laughs> because of how they do it is yeah. how they get away with it because they do it and they they make fun of all these things in a very smart, very immature way. Yeah, I didn't see, get I didn't get into it till later on till like a few seasons in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the first season you can tell they're kind of trying to find their right. voice. But you've got so many episodes. Danny DeVito, National Treasure. Of course, Woody yeah. would love that show. Yeah, yeah well, every time love, every like time South I've Park. watched it, every time I've watched it, I've really liked it. But I've never gotten to a rhythm of it where I'm mm-hmm. watching it consistently. Yeah, Hulu or the if you had the FX Now app, either one. Yeah. It's been suggested. I've never seen it, but I want to see it. Uh, the ones that I have for you are the ones that I've talked about a lot. Breaking Bad, of course, Sons of Anarchy, uh, Boardwalk Empire. I loved that show. Yeah. Boardwalk Empire was such a good show. I like a lot of the crime stuff. Mm-hmm. The Shield. You know, The Shield is a great show. Uh, Weeds. I loved I've Weeds. I loved Weeds, too. Early Weeds is I great. you didn't like that. No, I I'm the one that it. fell off Ravie's with Weeds. The one that, oh, okay. But, she loves everything for a minute before she completely <laughs> okay. just misses She's like, well, I liked it for five seasons, yeah. and then I was like, yeah. Wait, that's Wizards. not the one with Kathy Bates, is it? No, no. it's- um, I get those two mixed up. What's her name? From Mary Louise. Or pa- Mary Gilmore Louise Parker. Parker. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm off the text here. House. That was a good show when it was Yeah, on. House. I love House. House. I used yeah. to like that show. Okay. Um, that's on Amazon Prime. Ravi, Arrested Development. The Fox shows, the ones that on Fox, for good. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't one for Netflix? Three. Wasn't that wasn't great? No. I was late to that party. That's a good show. Yeah, Jason Bateman. Uh, I know. We have one Talking here. It says, uh, "Married with Children" is super dope. Yes. What is future life when his kids grow up? Huh. Now, I like I like Married with Children. I tried to watch because there was like a, one of the channels had like a bunch of like a marathon oh, yeah, of Married with Children. Love it. I got through about one and a half episodes where I'm like, all right, I can watch one episode at a time. It was too much. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, too much of the same. I've wondered what that show would be like yeah, now if you totally. tried to watch it. I was yeah. so disappointed uh, when I tried to watch it online. It didn't have the original theme song in it. Really? Yeah. They, they, had they probably couldn't get the rights to it. Yeah, they uh, had Ray other... Donovan's getting some love on the okay. text. Dexter, which is on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Every season but the last. And Ravi, I'm surprised you didn't bring up Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones would be good to watch because everybody's so young in those early seasons and they had no money. It, so it looks very, it looks different. It sounds different. It it would be interesting to go back and watch those early ones. Yeah, because Ravi hasn't brought up Game of Thrones mm-hmm. in a long time Dead now. to me. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It's she's even got a she's even got a Game me. of Thrones tattoo. I do. I do you regret that? No. I'm more excited about I'm very, very excited about the next series that's coming about the Targaryens. And type on George. I really want that sixth oh, book. Yeah. Oh, that's Hella what bad. Like about, that's apparently. that's what it's about for me now, that sixth yeah. book. And it's not here. So well, he like... started Monday, and he's gotten four sentences done <laughs> this week. <laughs> Only one five plus at a time. years overdue. <laughs> <laughs> on that typewriter. Ding. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, made a mistake. Then you gotta get that <laughs> crap out. Get the white out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. gosh. Well, Come thanks on, for George. the uh, suggestions. A lot of stuff that uh, people were texting over is a lot of stuff that got covered, uh, either on the list from Thrillist or that we brought up here. Uh, if we're talking about animated shows, I saw some people talking about Beavis and Butthead. Oh yes. hell yeah! Uh, but that's hard to find. No, not at my house. It's on DVD. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to borrow it, just go to King of the Hill. Come on yeah. over. King of the Hill is a great Hill. show. That's on yep. Talking about old shows, The Wonder Years. They had Wonder Years. That was good. Seven episodes. Good show, too. Loved it. Man, I had such a crush on Winnie Cooper. I know, right? Mm, that was my Winnie. girl. Yep. Oh, yeah. I mean, who didn't? Can't she find was so cute. Yeah. A little cutie.